Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am cash planning for the week. I'm actually going to be stuffing this week $822. So I'm going to write that here on this sheet. I made this sheet off of Canva, so definitely suggest playing around with um, all the things you can do on there because you can create some really cool sheets. There's even templates that some people have made that you could totally use and yeah it's a lot of fun making your own stuff so um yeah that's how i made this but i'm going to figure out how i'm going to split up all of this money into my envelopes for the week i'm going to first start off with my wallet um since i'm running out of space these lines in on my sheet because i need to again i made this so i need to redo it um, and make more lines because I have more envelopes. I actually have a new envelope I'm stuffing um, this week, so that's exciting. But since I always stuff the same amount in my wallets, I'm just going to do the same, the same over here. I don't, I'm not going to list them all out because, I, again, I do the same amounts every time. So I am going to put for the category for this one, just wallet. And then I wrote down on the side... The denominations that I need so I need 150 so this is gonna be a total of 170 for the wallet and I need 150 I need three twenties so three twenties and five tens one five and five ones okay so those are the denominations that I need for the week. Now I can go into my binders and figure out what I'm gonna put in each one. Okay, so first I'm going to subtract um, 170. So I have 652 to stuff in these um, envelopes. So let's see. So I have to like write it a slant. <laughs> All right, so the first one up is electronics. So I'm just going to, I like to write it in order so that it's like so much easier to stuff when everything's like in order. So I'm going down the line, so electronics. And then I just kind of figure out like how much I wanna put in here. Right now I have 210 in here. So I think I'm gonna do 15. And then I'm just gonna subtract 15 and kind of go that way. Um, there's some that I wanna stuff more than others. So I have that in mind already, the ones that I really wanna put more money into. And the, there's some that I'm just like, not in a super big rush to fill up. All right, so auto repair is going to get 10. Since I just had a bunch of maintenance done on my car, I, I know I'm not gonna need it. And I got new tires, so I feel like I don't really need too much anytime soon until my next oil change. All right, next is furniture, which I have 30. So I actually need 50 because I need to pay off my desk. So I need to put in, I'm going to put in 20 and then that'll give me the 50 because I have 30 to pay that off. And then gifts, I'm going to do 30 as well. Or I'm going to do 30. Holiday decor. Um, this one I'm not, I'm putting a little in, 10. Although I have been seeing holiday decor pop into stores. I think after July 4th, we're probably going to be seeing a bunch of Halloween stuff, which I know a lot of people will be upset about, but I'm totally for it. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, Christmas is another one I love to spend. And so that one's getting 25. Registration. Since I have a little bit more money this week, I'm going to do 10. In there usually I do five okay this is my new one right here I felt like this I kept seeing a bunch of people have an emergency one and I think that's super smart to have that so I decided I needed one too so I'm gonna do 30 emergency 30 treat yourself this is one of the ones I'm focusing on filling up a little bit more so I'm going to do 50 50 in there. Okay. 
rent, um, I track that when I cash plan, and then taxes, I cash, I check that. Actually, I'm gonna write down, I have a little section, oh gosh, I don't even know if you can see it, but I have a little section here, I'm sorry, um, here, that I am going to put the taxes that I already put into savings. I put 352, okay. Because I like to track that, so that way I know where I am when it comes to all that fun tax stuff. All right, so I'm trying to be better this time around with taxes because my stepdad is a CPA. He does my taxes and he always has lots of questions on like things and I feel like I need to be a little bit more organized for him. Um, so when he does my taxes, it's a little bit more, hopefully not as many questions that I don't have answers to. So that's, that's, that's the goal. Um, all right, next is this one I tend to pull a lot from, um, this wallet, so, or this envelopes. I have Disney, I have a couple of Disney trips coming up, so I'm putting a little bit more into this as well. This one's getting $45, I have $84, but I'm going to Disneyland um, this week, and then I'm going again in like a week and a half, so, and then at the end of the month, like I'm going a bunch, so I need to bulk that up. And then family, that one is going to get, let's see, family, I think I'm gonna do 30. I have 60 already in here, which is actually really surprising. We didn't really do much over the weekend, which is why I still have uh, money left over. I think my family went out to eat and I didn't go with them, so I just, they brought me leftovers, so I didn't have to spend any money, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I haven't spent any money which is totally different because we're usually always doing something. But we're going to Disney, so spend money there. All right, content, I'm putting in $25. Planner stuff, because I've been um, getting a bunch of stuff for videos. Planner stuff, I spent, a bunch, I spent all the money from here, so I'm gonna put in $15. Clothing, I have 103 in here. I'm just gonna put $10. I still haven't really spent from this one, but I have plans to. Uh, Target, I'm going to do 15. And also, just FYI, I have not been subtracting, which I will subtract in a little bit. I think I'm fine right now, but yeah, I totally realized I didn't. I, I didn't subtract from here. Once I finish this one, I'll figure it out. Okay, household. Uh, is going to be, I have $8. I really need to put more in here because I need to get like toilet paper and stuff. So I'm gonna put 25 in here. Home decor is going to get, I have 35. So I'm just gonna put 10 in here. Okay, I have a couple more. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start subtracting this so I don't lose count. So, let me go through this really quick. Um, so I totally was not paying attention to what I was doing. All right, 170, 15, oops, 10, 20, 30, 10, uh, 25, 10, 30, 50, 45, 30, 25, 15, 10, 15, 25, and 10. Okay, so I'm at 307 which is good. All right, cool. Uh, next is beauty. All right, so I'm going to just um, calculate this since I didn't while I was doing this. Uh, 20, 30, 10, 25, 30, 50, 45, 30, 25, 15, 10, 15, 25, and 10. Okay, so I'm at 277 right now, and I'm on beauty. So I'm gonna make sure to keep track now, because that was not, that was not fun. All right, so beauty, I'm going to do 15. Okay, 15. Costco, I think, hmm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put money in here. Okay, so, 
Costco, I will do 15. Since I have um, extra money this week to stuff, I'm going to put money in it. Usually I've been taking whatever leftover grocery money I have and putting it in here, which that's been nice. That's been helping to bulk this up. I got that idea from somebody in the comments. So thank you for that. Minus 15. Um, okay, extra debt. Okay, this is one that I want to bulk up a little bit. So I've been matching what I put in Treat Yourself and I've been doing extra debt the same amount. So that one's gonna get 50. Okay, cool. And that is it for that one. Now I'm gonna go into my savings because I have some saving ones that I want to um, focus on in here. All right, so the first one is Go Wild. This is another one that I really want to bulk up as well because I don't know when Go Wild is happening. They haven't announced like when tickets go on sale. Usually it's around like September um, and then the tickets go on sale like like pretty soon after that. So I want, I'm want i being prepared, which I actually have enough, I think, from like what the tickets were last year. I have enough to pay for the ticket, which is good. But I still need, you know, the first hotel, like the first night of the hotel um, or yeah, whatever they make you pay for the hotel. And then um, I need to buy my plane ticket because I'm sure it's not gonna be here. I don't know where it's gonna be, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take a plane to go wherever it is. So, Go Wild is going to get $50 too. Okay, so that one is minus 50. All right, and then I have, again, since I have a little bit more money to play with, the 100 envelope challenge, whenever I have more money that I can use, I'm trying to knock out these larger ones. Last time I did 100, this time around, I'm going to do the 99 one envelope $99 okay so I'm left with 48 okay um, another one that I pre-plan is roll the dice so I'm just gonna put roll the dice which is 11 and then another one that I like to plan ahead for is the 52 week because I like, I'm, I've been just going down the line in here and the next one I'm gonna do is $10. So $10 for this one, which I need a minus here. So I have minus 11 and 10. Okay, so I'm left with $27. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna put that towards savings challenges um, because I really wanna finish these, which is super exciting. Uh, that way I can put them towards something I'm really saving towards, which I'm really excited about. So I really want to get these finished, like some of these. And also this one, because last month or for June, I didn't really do as much as I wanted to for this one. So I'm just going to put savings here because I don't have enough lines. This is what I've been doing because, again, not enough lines. Uh, so 27 of that is going to go to to the challenges. I'll, I'll figure out how to divvy it up um, when I actually stuff my envelopes. All right, so then the last thing I have to do is just figure out the denominations, uh, which is pretty easy for the most part on these. This one, the savings one, takes me a little bit longer to figure out which ones I wanna put towards. But for here, I try to do just like the biggest bill to have the least amount of bills in my envelopes. So for electronics, it'll be 10 and five. Auto repair will be 10, furniture is 20, gifts is a 20 and a 10, holiday decor 10, Christmas 20 and 5, registration is 10, emergency is 20 and a 10, treat yourself, I'll just do a $50 bill. Disney is 45, so that's going to be two 20s and a 5, family is a 20 and a 10, content 20 and a 5, uh, planner stuff is a 10 and a 5. Clothing is a 10. Target, 10 and 5. Household, 20 and 5. 
um home decor is 10. let me know if you guys like watching this part because i feel like it's kind of like i don't know if it's boring or something <laughs> or if you'd rather see me like speed through it i don't know i like watching everybody's like process but i don't know just let me know okay so i got 50s here um 100 envelope okay this one's the fun one so i'm gonna do for the 50 envelope challenge a 50 so 50 70 90 okay two two twenties so that's 90 yes 90 and then a five and then four right 50 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99, yeah, 99 dollars. Roll the dice is going to get a 10 and a 1, 10 and a 1, okay? And then the 52 week is getting $10 bill, so I'm going to do $10 here. And then that this 27, I think I'm going to do 15 of that is going to be $5 bills, so that's going to be three $5 bills. And then the rest, $12, is going to be in ones. Again, I'm trying to really like fill up my envelopes, those saving envelopes. Okay, this part I'm gonna do off camera because I just wanna make sure it's all right. And yeah, I'm gonna do that off camera and come back. Okay, I did it right. All right, so here are the denominations that I plan on picking up. I'm gonna get five 50s, uh, 14 20s, 20 10s, 14 fives and 22 ones and that is a total of 822 that I will be stuffing in my next in my next video so I hope you all enjoyed watching me figure out my cash planning for the week and um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next one